You see what happens when they get 25 or more assists. Uh, they're tough. Uh, they're really good. The Clippers are shooting the ball at a level that we've never seen this franchise do anywhere. By Nisa, 116 to 90. Another giveaway here for the Clippers getting a little sloppy in the fourth quarter. Someone who just converted on a three-point play. But they banked on the fact that the officials are only going to call X number percentage of it. And that's kind of like how Indiana plays. They're grabbing, they're touching, they're, feel, they're holding you all around, and they forget most of the time. Oh, fell asleep. Goga came back and made a good block. Slow to get to Boucher, and Boucher got it under the basket. And Goga, a good shot blocker, got it. Lamb was also there to help. There's only a couple restaurants you're allowed to go to. <laughs> Devontae turns the corner. And a block shot, but Taze took it away from P.J. Protecting the rim. Good look away right there. I think Miles got a piece of that three by McDermott. Quick spin, Miles. And Goga, but Taze. Taze. Perfect timing on this block. Lamb coming off a serious left knee injury last year. Just his fifth game back. He's played well since he's been back. Doug McDermott, Gogo Bataze. Man. Nine assists on all of nine made buckets for the Hornets in this first quarter. I like it. Wow, what a find. Brogdon to Bataze. Can't run it down. Hornets with numbers. Dangerous pass deflected away. Hornets had numbers. And it leads to a dunk by Bataze. That was the first miss in the last nine shots for the Hornets. They'd hit eight in a row. A lot of dribbling there from McConnell. Good golly. What was that all about? Harris, Maxi, Thibault, and Curry. Again, if you're just tuning in, no Joel Embiid. Out with a stiff back. And that's challenged by Bataze. That's what he does. Pacers were 4 of 17 in the first half. They're 4 of 11 in the third quarter. And that's Goga with a nice defensive play. Holiday stepping into one again. Five seconds. Pacers would love a three. Bataze. Does it go in? It does! Goga got the extra bounce. Oh, 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 oh. Do you like the way it bounced on the rim? I do. Coming in mired in a 30% from three-point range shooting slump. Bataze hits his second. Good for him. That's what they do. They run you back out of the paint, Chris, and, and, and force you to have to make three-point shots. Clarkson gets inside, missed it. It was Bataze challenging. With what Pacers expect of him, is, and is able to knock down some shots. Mitchell misses, but Gobert is there, knocked away. I like the aggressiveness. He can't be worried about foul trouble because he's not playing as many minutes. Stay aggressive. If they call the fouls, they call them, but I wouldn't change a thing, and you wouldn't change that either. I mean, right here, Aaron Holiday finds it. You can see Niang late, but Goga at the rim. And should be rewarded because he's done a terrific job protecting on the other end. Lawawu Cabarro comes away with it, trying to go end-to-end -end here. The ball ricochets back to TLC, but could not secure it. Start the fourth. Good ball movement. McDermott the cut. McConnell's in the lane. And Aaron Holiday triples. Holiday had 15 last night against the Celtics, averaging seven. He's a good three ball. Let's switch that one. Here's Gibson's cross oh. to the hoop, and Bataze got a piece of it. Straight inside to no avail. Aaron Holiday back out. Jeremy Lamb stops, shoots. It's short. Bataze keeps it alive. And it's good. He will head to the line. Blocked by this guy previously. Now allowing him to get the rebound, inexplicably fouling him. Who ever heard of that? Yeah, when you're trying to inbound it after a timeout, how did I get that going? Well, the Nuggets with a seven-point advantage. Biggest lead was 12 at one moment. Well, Into Jokic, and the pass is tipped away by Batazzi. a horrible pass. Goga Batazzi, big man from the Republic of Georgia. Now Murray around the screen, giving it into Hartenstein. And he can't finish it. 
I don't know if he's getting the ball too late in the wrong position. There's Batazzi. He'll lay that one in and score. I mean, your body's there. I mean, he gets it to free the line. Jamichael's there and then just kind of scrapes down him. The Dragon with two scores late here in the first quarter. Evens the game at 30. Look out! A blocking foul underneath the basket will count for Bitteze. Bitteze showing good athleticism there after taking some contact. He is a big long guy at 6'11", 245 pounds, but able to able to convert. I just happened to look up the bus. Their offensive rating for that first quarter, very brisk. 171 points per 100 possessions. Definitely low you into a, just a sense of security. I won't even say a false sense. That's a true sense. <laughs> the way they play. <laughs> Bataze and a foul. In the steal, don't you have to control it? I think the ball? you do have to control it. Keep going. McDermott and Bataze follows. 20 points, JJ, 17 in the first half. Indiana by two. Bataze for three. Out of time. Chance to size it up, but more importantly. Technical foul, free throw was made. Brunson going to drive it, and Goga with the big block. Ball out to Burke, and the shot is late. Man, you can see that one coming from a long way away. Jeremy Lamb. To Bataze inside, jump hook beats the buzzer. Couple of dribbles for McDermott. Now Sumner splashes in a three. Goga Bataze is in at center to Sumner. Sumner on a drive and it rims out, but Bataze with the flush. They've overpassed some yeah. on some second half possessions. Was. Bad time to do that. Nice attack. Goga comes over. What a block. Miles Turner approves. Goga Bataze, the second year player for the Republic of Georgia. Goga went after that one aggressively the, the next time than, than happened the last time. Yeah, they were starting Thaddeus Young at the center, center. position, right. and now they've got Vucevic and Daniel Tice yeah. from Boston. Westbrook again going into the low post. Has it blocked from behind this time by Lamb. McConnell to Batase. And Scott Brooks will call a timeout. Iguodala with his first basket. Now Goga catches. McDermott in the corner, hits another three. Tough shot. Challenge late by Hero. He is improving 13 of his last 27 from outside the three-point arc, Edmund Sumner. I did go back and look at the G League stats, Chris, because you asked Edmund the question. 34% in parts of three seasons as Goga Bataze throws one down. You're doing a good job, partner. Keep going. You're doing a good job. You're doing a great job. Bataze has to shoot it. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's really skilled offensively. Right now, they're the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. Still a long way to go. Chris, I tell you what, I, I think he's a good player. I don't think there's... Nobody can doubt that. But I tell you what, they're playing more playoff basketball now than if they did if they had ball. They're in a bit of a zone. Oh, what, what a, a shot. For the seven footer. Got some good things going on. The opportunity there for some hick of a move by Goga. You see him somehow make an acrobatic. They're doing a great job moving the ball and penetrating and breaking down the one defender in front of them. Nice feed from McConnell to Bataze. Yes. I thought you had it. No, I had I mean, I thought you, you, you had number five. I, I'm hearing Wichita State. Yes, they did. Ron Baker. Yeah. Levine does not get it off in time. And if there was time, Bataze gets the block. Boy, marketing. That, yeah. that's, they, that's what you were talking about at halftime. Yeah, they each had nine points in the first half off the bench. Yes, a power dunk by Bataze. Don't be surprised if he, he doesn't. Don't be surprised if he doesn't do that because he's he's looking to get him out of the game. And Brissett. That's warranted. 
Last night, Indiana was below 50 points in the paint. A three is good by Bataze. Anthony Edwards, the number one pick for Minnesota. They had a game earlier this year. They won in Phoenix. Edwards had 42. Towns had 41. It thought about going in. Rubio blocked by Lamb. There wasn't much lift there. What a good play. What a good play. The delivery of the ball and the driving the defense down get away from me. But again, the penetration because Aaron Holiday has been playing well. McConnell could get it to go. Nine second chance points to this point. Holiday drives. Bataze tapped it in. Grizzlies wanted a basket interference call with steals. A career high 10 steals earlier this season. He got three games off of the bench. Like another cut to the basket with a pass and finish. For Holiday and the Grizzlies back the other way. Bain straight line drive. Bataze got a finger on it. And here's a run up by McConnell. A lob for Holiday. He hangs and hits. Jazz Nation, don't worry. 78 straight now. That's, That's a relief. With at least one three, <laughs> yeah. Boy, coming right back at you. Goga Bataze. We've said that a lot this yeah. This past month from three. Five of 17 here in the half for Utah. Lamb got loose inside Bataze. Good look. You're getting open shots. You're going to have to make them. They go right into Bataze. He slaps it away. I mean, Goga will protect the rim. You see, that length allows him to go after it late. A little bit like Miles, except the only team the Pacers have not seen yet this year. And they play hard. I would, you know, Lou Dort is on their team. They really come at it and play hard, Chris. So this group is going to get challenged with that. Walker Great with a fourth block back. by Bataze. Yeah. With your timing. And Goga is here because Walker is an athlete. You see Goga able to come out of nowhere to get a hand on it because I think Walker felt like he could lay it in. After tonight, 10 home games remain. End of April into May. Too strong by DeRozan. Rebounded by Sumner. Running Bataze. Really good late look by Sumner. Nice job by Goga. Had position, played big. Forced the Walton to call a timeout. Not careful, he'll get attacked. And when you can get that good position inside, big position inside, because I don't remember them making that many jump shots when you think about it, Chris. No, that means they only have 12 points outside the paint. They try to get more. It's knocked out of bounds and will stay with the Kings. So it gives them some size off the bench to combat Lopez and Gafford. Oh, man, I'm telling you, Aaron Holiday's playing a well of a game. He passed the ball exactly when it needed to be passed. The kind of things I think Pacers fans have been looking for Aaron all year long. Haven't seen it consistently, but I think he's starting to figure out what his job is a he little bit better. Got a piece of it, Bataze did on the block. Whoa. Shot clock at one. And blocked again. Lopez. Boy, he's in there a long time. The Pacers take it away. That's Bataze. He's blocked two shots. Karis Levert and Jay Sean Tate. Steal by Holiday and missed it. Goga got the rebound and Goga pounds it home. He did a nice job of shedding Beal. And his ninth George Hill since the trade went. And that's swiped away by Bataze. Clean block. Now Cassius Stanley lets a three fly. 22nd game for the rookie out of Duke with the Pacers. And Bataze again has his second block. In basketball age, yeah. you tend to slow down a little sometimes at that age, I guess. But he has not. This is just where basketball has gotten, where guys are just, they play all positions. He's unique. He probably could jump center. He's a center size. But he can handle the ball. Good cut. And McDermott high up off the glass. Left-handed. Again, you can't stay in there that long. Good defense against Coldwell Pope. Shot clock at four. Great. Oh. Jump ball. You're not going to get to the lane. McDermott. Shot clock down, but Bataze is patient and scores. Gia, how surprised are you with this? You mentioned you know, Charlotte from where you're sitting just isn't competing yet last couple of years before coming on over to Indiana. Ah! 
Rodgers. On that free agent deal a couple of summers ago, but Taze expresses himself. This Hornets team. And, and, and you know what? Based on how things have been going, uh, you would expect Washington to have a great chance to get this win on the road. Kenny Smith and Charles giving away all that money. But in all seriousness, Charles did an incredible thing. We see the block shot at the rim that time, but second shot opportunity by Gill.